Hey there, comic book friends. I'm Travis. Time for the edition of What the Fugue, where I talk about what's going on with me in my world of comics. How's it going, everybody? Um, I, I almost feel healthy. It's kind of strange. Um, not sure what that's like to actually be able to breathe through my nose and stuff. It's kind of bizarre. At any rate, that's got nothing to do with comics, right? Um, so, what's going on with me in comics? Well, first off, this has to be the hardest winter for me and my comic books. Uh, once again, the polar vortex, or whatever the hell you want to call it, you know, snow apocalypse or whatever, has delayed my comics, the, the diamond distributor truck, from getting the books to uh, Discount Comic Book Service, who then, of course, you know, distributes comic books to, um, you know, those of us who are purchasing them. So, they've been delayed by a day, which means I won't get my books until Saturday this week. I hope. Should be able to get them by Saturday. So, um, that being the case, and I am not the only one uh, amongst um, my group of friends who is getting their books late, um, we will be doing the comic book roundtable on Saturday at 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 um, Eastern Time instead of Friday. So, same time, just Saturday instead of Friday. Hopefully you can make it. If you can, awesome. Um, but we kind of decided that it might be best just to do it when we had our books as opposed to doing yet another show quite so quickly after the last one where we didn't have books and there haven't been a bunch of announcements for us to talk about so there would be a lot for us to talk about other than to go, hey, comics are great, you know, and then that conversation only goes so long, right? So, um, yeah, so Saturday, I'm hoping to have a nice group of people on the show. I've talked to some extra people. Hopefully we can get a few of those extra people on. Um, so that'll be awesome. Um, let's see, what else? So anyway, so show's going to be delayed by a day. Um, I can't think of any other, like, really big announcement type things. There's a bunch of books rolling out. Um, um, you know, DC's doing, not DC, but Marvel's doing a great job of kind of, you know, slowly, you know, shooting out uh, different books, you know, uh, different books in different weeks and different months, so... Next couple months, they're going to be pretty interesting to see exactly what comes of that. Kind of excited about that. Um, let's see. Um, besides that, the Marvel rollout, nothing really is um, earth-shattering going off DC because we've already discussed all the all the um, cancellations and whatnot that are there. Um, interestingly enough, now more than more than half of the New 52 and the New 52 first launch for DC has been canceled now, um, you know, whatever that means, you know, kind of a thing. Um, let's see, there's something else I want to say about that. Oh, uh, last week's uh, comic book roundtable, you were talking about uh, creator-owned stuff and, and um, you know, some of the stuff around there and the independent, more, we had more conversation about the whole independent um, market and what's going on there and what could possibly happen and stuff. Then, sure or not, um, great guy here on YouTube, um, doesn't make videos, but comments, watches the shows and whatnot, awesome guy. He sent a link to me, and if I can find that link, I'll try and put it down in, in this video. Um, from Bleeding Cool, just kind of talking about some of the creators talking about the whole creator-owned process, and who they give, cre who they give credit to, and who, they, um, who, who owns the product. Um, and it was, it's an interesting article, interesting kind of conversation amongst some, some of these creators on Twitter about what they do or don't do, who they, who they give stuff to. Um, you know, a lot of them are talking about the fact that they give all of the creators on the book a percentage of, of the money. It's not like they're just paid a, and then that's it. They actually are percentage, um, which to me is different than, they made it, they kind of the way they make it talk, they talk like everybody has ownership in the book. I don't think that's exactly true. I mean, there's some definition between, you know, like an artist and a, and a writer may own the, the rights to the book. I mean, they may own that creative, whatever. They're considered the creators. Um, but I don't think like the letterer and the colorist and those people lots of times get, get that kind of credit. They don't have ownership of the book as much as everybody else does. But these guys at least give them um, percentage royalties, so they have an investment in the book besides just getting whatever their base pay is. You know, they, they, there's that, they get, 
you know, however successful the book is, they get a percentage of that, and which to me makes a certain amount of sense because obviously if you make it competitive and you make your employees invested in the product that's being put out there, you're going to work a lot harder, I would assume, than if it's something that you, you're just getting paid the flat rate regardless, whatever. And so that's kind of cool. Um, that was kind of an interesting thing to read and whatnot. Um, let's see what else. I don't have a whole lot. Um, this week, it seems like some weeks I have a lot to talk about, and other weeks I don't. Um, I just, I happened to roll past 500 subscribers uh, this last week. I'm not sure what that means to me. I'm still trying to figure out what that, that means to me. I mean, I, you know, I think it's awesome. That, and it excites me that there are that many people who have bothered to push a button to say that they want to watch me. Um, you know, whether you, you do or not. Um, that's, that's pretty awesome. And I, I'm, you know, and part of me is excited about that. Um, but you know, for me as a whole, it's less about that number. It's about the participation. It's about it's about those of you who watch, and and what I have to say, you know, makes you think or makes you want to have a conversation with me or have a conversation with anybody else out there uh, about comics, um, about sequential art, because um, you know it's not my life, but it's definitely an important part of it. I think it's a a pretty awesome art form, and so if you know, it inspires more conversations and I get to have more conversations with people on, on, on any level, you know, whatever that is. Um, whether it's the simplest of, you know, who's better, DC or Marvel, that whole silly conversation, or, um, you know, it's going to get, you know, more into the nuts and bolts of, you know, was the latest, you know, Shaolin Cowboy uh, miniseries, was it technically a story or not? Um, I, I love that, and and so uh, I'm I'm excited that more people are along with me to to take that ride and um, to experience that with me and and and, and however you experience it, um, you know that's that's really cool, um, and I'm hoping to have you 502 of you until some delete or drop or whatever. Um, I have, you know, hope to find a few more friends, you know, more people that I can have lots of conversations with and whatnot. So um, that's pretty excellent um, as far as that goes. Um, I, I keep thinking I want to do a contest or I want to do something. Because um, I feel like I want to kind of give back. I want to you know, be some sort of, I mean, I think everybody else's contest they do and they give out prizes and all that stuff. That's all really cool. I just can't think of anything that I want to do that isn't the same thing everybody else has done. I mean, I'm always curious with new people to find out, you know, what's your favorite character and all that kind of stuff. But um, you know, after a while, a large group of you that, I, that I've been associated with for a number of years now, we kind of know all that stuff. You know, nothing, you know, really changes there as a, as a general rule. Um, so, so I want to be something different. I mean, I'd like to be some video type thing, but I can't think of what it, what it is. And I know I've, I've thrown this out before and mumbled about it and, you know, gee, what am I going to do? Um, I have some weird odds and ends that, you know, maybe I would like to give away, uh, but I don't know... I don't, I don't, I still don't know what that would be. Um, and celebrating my subscribers, whereas I want to celebrate you guys, I don't necessarily want to celebrate the number, but the number is a great way to have like a landmark of this is, you know, this is where I've, this is where I've gotten to. Um, and like I said, you know, some part of all of us have that ego that it feels good to, you know, to know you, you know, your voice maybe is being heard a little bit more or whatnot. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. It, you know, so awesome. Thank you. Appreciate all the subscribers. It's pretty cool. Um, what else? Um, oh, yeah. So last weekend, um, had another uh, comic book parfait. Um, thought it went really well. Um, it runs long. It's, it's a little long show, kind of like most of the Hangouts seem to be. Um, I don't know if that's a bad thing. Um, I'm not sure how much you know, stamina people have to just sit through and watch all that stuff. For me, I'll watch a lot of those videos if they um, you aren't just, you know, everybody's shooting the, shooting the breeze. Um, not to have a problem with those videos because obviously I participate in those types of hangouts and stuff too. Um, I'm just less inclined to, I like watching those live because I feel like I'm participating in what's going on. And then other shows that, um, like when... Um, Scott Constant Bromstar and um, Howard Mouse were doing the finally design. Those were enjoyable to watch. I could watch those kind of whenever. They were kind of like the background music I'd listen to as I was working on my books or whatever. 
uh, because it was informative, and, and so that's cool in its own sense, too. Um, but I had the comic um, uh, not the comic book roundtable, um, had the comic book parfait, um, I'm, I'm hoping to make that now, we're in the new year, uh, last Saturday of, um, every month, unless something comes up, that's my plan, is to, um, is to do that show, we're going to show up, some of us are going to show up with, um, whatever books we want to talk about, whether that's a miniseries, a single issue, a trade, a group, an arc, whatever and for whatever reason you want to talk about it um we had toyed around with themes i think that's gonna to be too difficult to do i don't not really aspire to do a theme because i really want it to be about people bringing the books that they want to talk about for whatever reason that is um whether it's just you really like it you like just the art you know it, it's telling us something or look at this train wreck of of trying to attempt to do this look how editorial mess up whatever it is about that about those books that you wouldn't have a conversation with that's that's what I'm, I'm hoping to get. And I'm hoping to get more people on the show. I'm just trying to figure out how to do that, because right now I've got five people on the show, and, um, you know, if you spend 10 minutes talking about, each person gets 10 minutes to talk about their book, not that I would time anybody by any means, but 10 minutes per book, and then some, you know, rebuttal or, you know, or conversation around it, besides just the one person that talks about what they want to talk about about the book, then you've got an hour you know, more than, well more than an hour worth of show. And I always like to throw some topic out there at the end that's just sort of a, you know, about comics in some sense or another um, to have a discussion with whatever the minds that are there. So I'm trying to figure out, is it okay if the show keeps going longer? Because um, I don't want to tell people you, you can't come, you know, or whatever. Um, and, um, but I'd like, to, I'd like to have some more voices. There's a lot of you out there. I've got a list. I've got a list of people that I think read interesting stuff or have interesting thoughts, and I want to get them on that show. So, um, what do you all think? Does, does longer matter? Um, like I said, length doesn't matter to me if I'm sitting there watching it live. Sometimes length matters more um, after the fact, because it's, hard, it's harder for me to consume it. Because um, you know, lots of times I don't have you know, two hours or an hour or whatever to dedicate to sitting just watching, just watching a, si a single video. Unless I'm doing stuff. Like if I'm working on my books or doing something else, it's the equivalent of music for me. I can turn it on, listen to it, and that's awesome. Um, you know, so what do you all think about the comic book prefet? Um, how do I do that? Do I just add people to it? And if it's longer, it's longer. Who cares? Um, of course, I guess I need to talk with all participants. Maybe they don't want to sit there for that long either. Um, me, I can... I can sit and talk comics for a lot of hours, which I probably prove way too often. Um, so anyway, um, I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna be done. Um, it's, uh, it's gonna, I think this is gonna be an exciting week of comics. I'm really looking forward to getting them. Um, should be reading a ton of books on Saturday. For Saturday night, we'll be talking about all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of um, uh, great books rolled out this week, this week I think, so um, should be lots of fun. Um, Anyway, comic round tables on Saturday once again, 6:30 Pacific, 9:30 Eastern time, and whatever other time in between or around that. Um, but have a great one, everybody.